On today's video, we're gonna go over the most important things that were revealed on today's expansive wall stream. We got to first look at a few of the new species, like raccoon dogs and termigans. And we also got a quick look at the Ribbon Tully Coast main lodge, which looks really, really good. First off, welcome to the lodge in Finland. Pretty cool, isn't it? Very quaint, tiny, um, very clean. This seems honestly very accurate to what I've seen on some of the hunting cottages, little cottages in the countryside. The setup here is a little different. Right, check it out, my friends. We're not staring at just the one uniform box to do it all. We've got kind of, uh, well, this looks more like what it would in my trailer. <laughs> you know, it's, it's pretty cool. So, you know, bed just as you would expect. I didn't make it. So, Don't that's how the main lodge look, is gonna look. Street, it looks simple, very uh, unique, so I'm a big fan of it. So okay, now, after we saw the full animal list, one of the things that I was more excited to see was the raccoon dog model. And today, we finally saw it for the first time. This is the codex for the raccoon dog. They are omnivores, they feed in a wide variety of small prey fruit. So what do we got? We're in the forest and the rest of the excellent hearing, smelling, blah, 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 made in pairs, probably nocturnal, class two ammo, um, and difficulty is average. Oh, okay, it's a female. She's taken off, so that's good. There's a five medium. Oh, check them out, check them out. Okay, we're gonna play this need zone and let them come back in, get a nice look at them and their movements, their animations, and then we're gonna put it to the ground. Since raccoon dogs are part of the same family of foxes and coyotes, they are gonna behave very similar, and they are gonna reach level 9 as every predator. Dang it, that tree, that's great. Use the landscape to your advantage. Let's go take a peek at him, see what it looks like, and see what we're looking at. I don't want to mess around, I wanted to make sure y'all had a chance to look at it. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Wow, so they do look very, very similar, don't they? To raccoon dogs, or to the actual raccoons. Just in their coloring, you know, just in the in the coloring, a little bit of the face, but and once you get into the body, they're a little bigger. As you can see, they are a pretty interesting looking animal. And they look great. Although I have to say that I would have liked to see a bit more of four. They are usually more fluffy in real life, but still they look awesome. It's just a small detail. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I guess there's the biggest difference between a raccoon dog and a raccoon. I mean, I shouldn't say the biggest difference. They are completely different species. But they resemble because of their fur and their markings and their tail. But that's where it stops. You can see their legs are much lankier, longer. They've got a different stride and a gait to them. Um, the 243 is probably gonna be the best option to hunt them, although also the 223 and the 22 Hornet are also gonna be solid choices. Oh, 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 shot in the back. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at this guy and see what he came out as a light brown. Very cool. We got a different pose for him. Uh, now, so here we go. Using the 243, getting all of our checks. The Willow Termigan was another of the species that I really wanted to see in action. I'm a huge fan of quail and pheasant hunting, so I cannot wait to hunt these things. Get these birds to pick up. Yeah, baby. What was that? Wow, is that what they sound like in real life? That was awesome. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. A lot of detail on it, the, the plumage. Oh, oh, that's its family show. Yeah, let's see what they look like on the screen. So this was a female that made silver. Now the next one is an awesome looking bird. The first look at a molting willow termigan. But now, but now, there he is, oh, he's... Oh, man. Oh, baby, this is a molting. This is something I wanted to see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. This thing looks absolutely oh, amazing. Gorgeous. I mean, seeing this beauty, oh, I just can't but think look, all the different and amazing play. plumage and types that we're going to see on the grouse, oh, on all the termigans, and of course gorgeous. on the capper killy. Wow. Um, so, sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> we'll stay on this view. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Apart from termigans and raccoon dogs, we also saw a couple of close encounters with the beautiful hazel grouse and with the awesome Capper Kaylee. Oh, 
to God, to God, get it, die. Oh. Oh, you little buggers. <laughs> get on the ground, son. Oh, that is cool. So here we are on the map, if you're trying to pay attention uh, at home for when you get on here. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at the Caper Callies, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you little buggers. Oh, you little bugger. Where'd it go? I can't track him fast enough. There we go. Wow. As you can see, the these mail. things are fast. So it's going to be a real challenge to get one with the recurve. It's gonna be really hard, but it's gonna be fun to try it, I'm sure of that. And well as you can see, models are really detailed in men. Judging from what we have seen so far, I think this reserve could very well be the best map in the game. I really hope it is. I really hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and see you next time.